It's a nice quiet spot, isn't it? Yeah, is that it here? Is, is it right to take some magazines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. This seems to be the main. Uh, you guys are Jehovah's Witnesses, yeah. We are. The, this seems to be the same message, doesn't it? The, the main sort of primary message that's being given out is will suffering end? Well, or, or, these are all questions that people ask. You yeah, see. yeah, yeah. These are the big questions that people ask. Yeah. And where will you find the answers? The only way you can find the answers is in the Bible. In the Bible, yeah. I mean, I'm a Bible believer. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. But, but this is really good because on the back of here, yeah. which topic will interest you mostly? Mm -hmm. And there must be a topic there that interests you. Yeah, let's have a look. But I mean, my main interest is, is Jesus, you know, because I'm a Christian and I'm, yes. and I'm a Bible believer and reader. Um, so who is Jesus Christ? Yeah, that's, that's well, the one you, that I'm interested in. Who is God? Well, what is the good news? That's a good mm -hmm, one. It is. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what would you guys say is the good news? It's the government that's going to rule this earth. Mm -hmm. That's good news, isn't it? Well, the well, kingdom. The yeah, kingdom the of kingdom. God. Yeah, the yeah, kingdom. yeah. But I mean, I agree with that. And, and I agree with all this as well, you know, when, will suffering end, you know, hopefully, well, we believe one day that it will indeed end, you know, eventually. It says there'll be new heavens and a new earth, doesn't it? And all, I love that scripture, you know, where it says that he'll wipe every tear away from people's mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. I love that, yeah, in Revelation. Mm -hmm. but, it's a lovely scripture, but, isn't it? But the thing is, really, the, the message of the kingdom is is to do with the king, isn't it? It's to do with Jesus, because whatever the king is reigning, that's where the kingdom is. Because yeah, I mean, right. yeah, he's but, the king of God's kingdom. Yeah, yeah. He's and the, did, do you know where the kingdom is? Yeah. What's it, what, the kingdom? Well, it's wherever the king is present, isn't it? It's, it's, it's. Because if you look at, if you look at the word for kingdom, mm -hmm. um, th there's a guy called Vines. He does Greek words. I, I'm no Greek scholar or anything like that. You know, I know a few words, but the word for kingdom in Greek, I think it's Basilia. It, it, when you look at that in vines, it says that it's the the sphere of rulership for, that the mm -hmm. king yes. is over. Mm -hmm. So, so wherever the king is, that's where the kingdom is. So, mm -hmm. so when Jesus said, "Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them." So, if I was to have a prayer meeting with with some brothers or sisters, that's where the king is. Jesus is there, according to that scripture. That's where the kingdom is. Although it's a future thing as well. You know, we believe that there'll be a millennium, a literal paradise earth kingdom of rulership, yes. where it says the king will, will rule the nations with an iron rod. It, it's wherever the king is. So the oh, kingdom. The other word you can use for kingdom is government. Yeah, yeah. The government. Yeah. So the kingdom is a real government that that Jehovah has in heaven, mm. of which his son Jesus Christ is the king of this government. Yeah, oh no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Is, we are praying to come mm -hmm. and this scripture here. here. Yeah, your kingdom yeah. come. It you says, know, and a voice, I heard a voice, a loud voice from the throne saying, look, the tent of God is with mankind mm. and he will reside with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them and he will wipe out every tear from their eyes and death will be no more neither will mourning nor outcry nor pain be any more the former things have passed away and the one seated on the throne said look i am making all things new also he said write for these words are faithful and true mm, mm. marvelous so, words yeah, i love them so god whose name who do you think God's name, what God's name is? Well, an, an Anglicanised version of it is Jehovah, of course. Yes. Um, in, in, the, in the Hebrew, it's just YHWH, isn't it? Which That's is right. the, the tetragrammaton, yeah, Yahweh. I think probably a more accurate word is Yahweh, although, yes. I mean, there's a lot of old Christian hymns that use the word Jehovah, yeah. you know. That's right. G that old Welsh hymn, I love that one. Um, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, yes. pilgrim through this barren land, yes. bread of heaven, bread of heaven. It's a wonderful... I mean, that, that was sung during the Welsh Revival, you know, of the early 1900s. Was it? Yeah, do you, do you know much about it at all? Jehovah's Name? No, no, no the, the Welsh Revival. No, I don't. Oh, it's amazing, you know. Well, Jehovah's so. Name is 
in there. Somewhere. Is that who his god, is it? Yes, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, that's, well, that's a tetragrammaton there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's yeah. right, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. So all your questions mm -hmm. and all your curiosity is in there. Yeah. So that'll help you. Oh, no, I'll have a look. Um, it's, put, it's put in a simple way, mm -hmm. but you can check everything with your Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, um, see the, the message that... The, the primary message that Paul brought is in 1 Corinthians 15 uh, verses 1 to 3 or 1 to 4. It says, he says, now this is the gospel. He says, this is the good news, the gospel, which is what gospel means, isn't it? Good news. He, he, said, is, yeah. he said that Christ died for our sins and that on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures. Then he appeared to me and he appeared to 500 of the brethren yeah, all at the same time. Yeah. His resurrection. So, so, so that he said. He appeared to the 12. Yeah, but, but look and after that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time. Yeah, but, but look, this is, this is it. He said it's of first importance. He's, I think it's a bit further down there. Uh, I reminded you, brothers, of the good news that I declared, that I declared to you, which is of first importance. That, that this is the gospel, this is the good news, that Christ died for our sins. And yes. was, so that was the main message that he brought. I mean, and, and although I agree, you know, with a future kingdom will come, that be suffering will end, you know, that we need to look after our children and things like that. It, it's not the main message that the Christians brought. The main message, Paul said in, in Romans chapter 1, he said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for That's it is right. the power of God unto salvation for those who believe first for the Jew then for the Gentile and he defines what the gospel is there in 1 Corinthians 15 and he said he's not ashamed of it I mean really uh, with, with due respect to you guys I'm not having a go at you or anything but, but I think the message here should be Jesus is risen hallelujah Jesus Jesus died well, for our sins and Jesus yes, is risen did. hallelujah now, now the Bible says it's the smell of death to some people but it's the smell of life to others a lot of people will reject it and say what a load of rubbish dead men don't rise but for those whom the Lord calls, that message will be the smell of life. There's power in that message. Paul said there's power yes, in the gospel true. message. And we shouldn't be ashamed of it. It's a powerful message. But well, we're certainly not ashamed of the message. Yeah, but, but to, you know, to, to, to bring it as the foremost message, I think, would, would probably you it's know, be God's the thing. God's kingdom mm. is the message that... Um, but, that's what he was preaching. Yeah, but the kingdom is about Jesus, isn't it? No, the, yeah. king, the kingdom is about Jehovah. Jesus Christ will rule in that kingdom. But but he, he's the king of the kingdom, isn't he? So the, the he message will of the rule. kingdom is about he, Jesus. But no, it's about Jehovah. But, if you read your Bible, mm, which mm, you obviously know, mm, you will know that the kingdom is the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jehovah. Mm, and he allows his son, Jesus Christ, to rule that kingdom for a thousand years. Yeah, yeah. So, but would you, would you guys? I mean, I agree with that as well. Would you guys say? I mean, Paul also said in Galatians, sorry, Philippians, he says, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. Again, he's talking about the resurrection. He says, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. He says, I count all the former things that it, all of his life in Judaism, he was a Pharisee, he had respect, he said. I count all of that as rubbish in view of the <coughs> surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have lost all things. And John, uh, John 17, 3 says, um, Now this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have oh, sent. So you? It's, it's to do with knowing God and knowing Jesus. Exactly. Knowing God's name. No, well, no. No, it says knowing, knowing God and knowing Jesus, not, right. just, not just about him or his name. So in order to know everything about him, to get but, to know his name, who he is, uh, uh, his personality. Uh, like Paul, he says, he says the most important thing is to know Jesus. How would you guys say that you know Jesus? Do you, would you say you know Jesus? Yes. yes. How because, do you know him? Because you the know? work that we are doing right now, yeah. he set the example for us to follow his footsteps closely. Mm -hmm. And when he was on the earth, what did he do? He went preaching yeah. about what? A particular message, mm -hmm. the good news of the kingdom of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And he said to us, his followers, that this is what would be done in this time of the end. For marketing for Putin, oh, yeah. and this good news of the kingdom 
the kingdom mm -hmm. will be preached in all the inhabited earth for a witness to all the nations and then mm -hmm. the end will come. And just, so that's what Jehovah's Witnesses are doing. They're going to mm -hmm. set some back. Mm -hmm. They're going to preach the good news of the kingdom of God. But the kingdom the most important thing to Jehovah yeah, yeah. is the main message of the Bible. Jesus preached it. He told us to pray for it. Thy kingdom come. Yeah, that will be done. Okay. But, but, but the so thing, this is the main message of the Bible. But, but, That's the thread of the Bible. The but, theme but, of the Paul, Bible. Paul, Paul said, I mean, I think the, the kingdom message is tied in with the resurrection and the it's crucifixion and the resurrection, yes, isn't it? It's all and it's all, it's all about Jesus, it's the King. All, oh, so it's proclaiming it's, the Lord Jesus. That's why he's said to preach. You know when you read the book of Acts? Uh, I mean, I, I think I encourage you to do this. Go through the book of Acts. Yeah. Just, just, just write the way through it or get a concordance and look at the name of Jesus in the book of Acts. His name appears prominently in so many ways. Demons cast out in the name of Jesus, people healed in the name of Jesus, people being persecuted for the name of Jesus. No other name given under men under heaven that they can't be saved other than by the name of Jesus. It's right the way through. God raised all about this Jesus. One. God raised this one up Amen, on yeah. the third day. Amen. And allowed him yeah. to become manifest. Not to all the people, yeah. but to witnesses appointed beforehand mm -hmm. by God that's right. to us, that's Paul, and his, who ate and drank with him mm -hmm. after him, his rising from the from the dead. That's the gospel message, you see, isn't it? It, it yeah, is the gospel yeah, yeah, message. Yeah, yeah. The death and the resurrection of Jesus, that's but the thing. Yeah. It's, the resurrection was proof mm -hmm. that that's what Jehovah was going to do. Mm -hmm. You see, it's a, it, it's a big issue, isn't it? Because Jesus, um, yeah. Yeah, doesn't it? Lost the thread of the thought now. Um, actually, it's all in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's in small bite-sized pieces, mm -hmm. but you can build on it through the, through the yeah, scriptures yeah. that you use. I mean, you use the scriptures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but can, can this I? this Bible yeah. that, that we use. Is the most accurate Bible in the world. I don't know whether you know that. Mm. Go on Wikipedia, nothing to do with Jehovah's Witnesses, mm. and ask them which is the most accurate Bible, mm. and they'll tell you it's this one. Mm. Um, can, you know, back to the theme with you guys about know, knowing Jesus. Um, do you, um, you, you see, to know somebody, as it says in, in John 17 3, it says, this is eternal life that may, they may know you, the only true God and Jesus whom you have sent. So we can know, obviously we know we know God, we know Jehovah by, by, by praying to him, speaking to him. If you, have a, if, you need, if you need to know somebody, you, you've got to have a relationship with them, you've got to speak to them, yeah. Mm -hmm, we agree. Yeah, yeah, so you've got to communicate. Even even people who are mute, they communicate with their spouses. I mean, I, I don't know whether you, you ladies are married or not. I mean, I'm, I'm married, I've been married a year, just over a year now. And um, uh, my wife's Botswana, by the way, as well. And uh, yeah, she she um, we have we have a relationship. We communicate with each other. We know each other because we communicate. You know, but, you just quoted that scripture. Yeah. This means everlasting life. Amen. They're coming to know you, the only true God. Yeah. And the one whom you sent forth, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. What does he say after that? Mm. He says, I have glorified you on the earth, mm. having finished the work you have given me to do. Yeah. So that's what Jesus did. He glorified his father by coming to this earth. Yeah, yeah. To, no, I agree that. To tell everybody about Jehovah. Mm. And he's finished, I have finished the work you have given me to do. Yeah. So now, now father, Glorify me at your side with the glory that I had alongside you mm. before the world was. Yeah, no, I agree with all that. That's, this, that's um, basically what it's all about. Mm. But, but to, to know to know somebody, though, you've got to communicate we, with them, haven't you? We, we you see where I'm going with it? Yeah, but we but, communicate through this but, book. But, but, but like, if, we, if, we, if it says in John 17, 3, that eternal life is dependent upon knowing somebody, in this case, well, God and, and Jesus. Know, how would I get to know Jesus? By communicating with him, as you would. No, uh, by communicating you, 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 with, with his father. 
whether you have seen the Father. If you but, have seen me, you've seen the Father. But, but did, 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 did Stephen pray to Jesus in Acts chapter 7? He did, you know. In Acts chapter 7, just before he was martyred, it says that he cried out with the Lord with a loud voice. He said, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And then he says, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And, but can I, have you ever noticed, who wrote the book of Acts as well? Do you know which, which author wrote the book of Acts? It was Luke that wrote the book of Acts. And in Luke, the, 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 the account of Jesus being crucified in Luke, it's, it's very similar to Stephen's martyrdom, you know. Jesus prays to his father in Luke and he says, Lord Jesus, he says, Father, do not hold this sin against him. And then it says that he, he gave up his spirit. And, then, and it's the same kind of form. It follows the same kind of pattern in Acts chapter 7. At the end it is, Acts chapter 7, verse 59 and 60. 59 and 60 it is. It reads slightly different in your Bible. But it is a prayer to Jesus. It is a prayer. Josh mentioned them saying they're sort of swagging off and apparently. Yeah, but he, Can you see? He, he, yes, he initially I said, as he was stoning Stephen, mm. he yes, made this appeal Lord Jesus, receive mm. my spirit. Yeah. Then kneeling down, he cried out with a strong voice. Jehovah, do not charge this sin against them. Mm -hmm. And after saying this, he fell asleep in death. Mm -hmm. So he spoke to both of them. Yeah. He didn't just speak to Jesus. But, but when, you, when you look at the Greek there, it says Kyrios. The word Jehovah is not there. It's Kyrios, which is Lord. This. Yeah, yeah. Jehovah. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, that's he, where they... But, but there's, there's, no, there's no Greek manuscripts that the word Jehovah in. Yeah. It doesn't really... Yeah. It, it, they have taken it out because they do not want it. You see, it's all to do with Satan. Mm -hmm. but, but do, do you, he was taking Jehovah's name. But Paul prayed to Jesus. Do you know that scripture in, in Corinthians where it says that it says that he was given a thorn in his flesh, mm -hmm. a messenger to torment him, and he said, he said three times I pleaded with the mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. to take it away from yes, me. but mm -hmm. that's where the confusion comes in, because three times I pleaded with Jehovah. No, but even in your, Jehovah. even in your, Jehovah. no, even in your translation, it says Lord. With Jehovah. That, 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 Jehovah. Well, well, the word in Greek is curios, which is Lord. It says three, three times. Look at, look at, I want to just see this picture yeah, yeah. here. You, 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 you go to John 17, 3. Yeah, yeah. It was Jesus praying to his father. Yeah. And at the end, look at what he said to his father here in verse 26. I have made your name known mm -hmm. to them, being his disciples. Oh, you can take it from 25. He says, righteous father. Mm. Who was he talking to? Mm. His, his father. Yeah. And who is his father? His God. Yeah, yeah. Jehovah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jehovah. He said, righteous father. The world has indeed not come to know you, mm. but, I, but I know you. And these have come to know you, know that you sent me as his disciples. I have made your name known to them. His father's name, yeah. Jehovah, he has made it known to them. And he will make it known so that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in union with them. Mm. So Jesus made his father's name known to his followers. Mm -hmm. So true followers of Jesus Christ would do that and elevate Jehovah's name, yeah, yeah. sanctify it, mm -hmm. make it known to others. And that's what we as Jehovah's Witnesses do, you see? He said his father was greater than him. He was not equal to his father. But, but where, where was he when he said that? Though? He was a man on the earth, wasn't he? He was incarnated as in flesh on the earth. You see, we believe Jesus is God as well. He's got two natures. He's God and well, we believe Jesus is God, man. but the Bible does not support this. But, but the reason Jesus is... Jesus said, my father is greater than I. Yeah, and I'm going great to my father. But he was a man on the earth, wasn't he? He was a Jew. He prayed to God, his father, at the time. That was his human nature speaking. But Thomas, what did Thomas say to him when he appeared and his resurrected body? Did he said, you know? No, no, can I can just finish, please? Let me, can I just okay. finish, please? Um, when, when he appeared to Thomas, he said, the Lord of me and the God. Of me. Now, if you look in the in the in the interlinear of the New World Translation, it literally says, Thomas said to him, Jesus, the Lord of me and the God of me. Now Thomas was a Jew. Whose God was Thomas's? 
Jehovah. So, so he, he acknowledged Jesus as God. Thomas was a Jew. It would have been blasphemy if it, if, if, if it wasn't true. What scripture are you talking about? John 20, 28. John 20, 28. He, he appears in his resurrected form. And he, and he says, look, touch me and see it. It's I myself. And it's 20, John 20, 28. Oh, that's when he was. Um... So he says, "My Lord and my God." Tom Thomas yes, said he did. To him, yes. Jesus. But you know, we can all pick a scripture out and say, "Oh, that's it." But when you read the surrounding verses, it then puts it into perspective. Mm. But, but I mean, later. And so it doesn't it yeah. doesn't mean it the way you're taking it. No, it does. You know, this no, is the way doesn't. the early disciples believed, and. Uh, if you read a bit further on, it does say that Jesus, these, these have been written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Son yeah, of God. Yeah, but that have been written by him, that you may believe that Jesus is, is the, the son of chief. God. That's what I just said, yeah. The but, Son of son God. God. Yeah, but what does Son of God mean in the first century in John chapter 5? Um, it means... It's, it's saying that the Jews are trying to stone Jesus because he was declaring himself to be God. No. He was making God his equal to his own father. No, and it, it wasn't just the unbelieving Jews that were saying that. That was John's commentary on on the um, the, the statement that, that they believe that Jesus believed he was equal to his father. They were stoning him because he no, said he was equal to his no father. There's no doubting that you know a lot about your Bible. Mm. There isn't any doubt. I'm not to impress anyone or anything. No, like I know. I, I've, I've just not been a Christian that. since 1989. I realise that. But after saying that, you are picking scriptures that fit your way of thinking. Do, do you see, and you can't can, do that with the Bible. Can, can I just say, you seemed a bit surprised even that that was even there, that verse. No, I'm not. No, no, but, no, no. But, but, what, but I, I'm surprised that you took it but, the way but, you did. No, no, it's, it's, the way, it's the way Thomas took it. He says it clearly. And, and I mean, John, John 858. When, yes, but when he says, because I know mm. um, Thomas was, he doubted everything. But then he became the greatest believer of all, didn't he? Yes. What did Jesus say after that statement? Read what it says afterwards in John 20, 29. He said, Jesus said to him, because you have seen me, have you believed? Happy are those who have not seen me and yet believe. Yeah. So, he, he to be sure, Jesus also performed many other signs mm. before the disciples which are not written down. Mm. But these have been written down so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son, Son of God. God. Yeah. But now I've got a son. He shares the same nature as me. He's human, but he's distinct from me. He shares my nature. He shares my same nature. He's human. Jesus as the Son of God shares his Father's nature, which That's is deity, right. which is God. So, so Jesus, no, which Jesus is his nature. personality. Oh, it's a, you see, your, your it's, son is not you. Yeah, no, my son doesn't share my personality because he shares my nature. He doesn't share my personality. He shares the nature because he's my son. Jesus shares his father's nature because he's the son of God. That's why he can be God. Well, because he was with him for all those millenniums, mm. it means that he became like his father in lots of ways because they believed the same things, they enjoyed the same things, they did the same things. But he can't be called God in any sense. He, if, yes, Satan was called a God. The, but of what? The God of this world he qualifies it. Thomas qualifies it as well. He says, the Lord of me and the God of me. Thomas was well, a Jew. His yes, God was well, the God of him meaning he was superior to him. Satan who was superior to mankind. No, but he, he was a Jew, wasn't he? For instance, for, for him to cut, he was a Jew. For, for him to, wasn't, he didn't stay a Jew, did he? But, he well, became a Christian. Yeah, but he was, he was a believer in so one that's, God. that's what he was saying. No, but the, I think the point is he was a believer in one God. As a Jew, he, he was a believer in only one God. So it would have been against his religion to acknowledge another God in such a way as that. The fact that he acknowledged him changed him from being a Jew to a Christian. But that's, as, that's but as what God, he, he acknowledged him as God. As a Christian, not as God, Jehovah. You see, you see, for Jesus to be a God, a separate God, and you know, we even compare him to Satan. It's just, I mean, John forty, sorry, Isaiah forty three ten says that. Uh, before me no God was formed, nor will there be one after me. 
So he was either a true god or a false god. I mean, John 17, 3 again says that this is eternal life, that we they may know it, you. We're doing it together, the, picking out stuff. No, no, no. But if you are... Other than recite the whole Bible, stand here and recite, all I can do is, is talk about the scriptures yeah, that, that, that we can talk about with the time that we've got. Can, can, if Jesus <laughs> is the creation of God, he can't be equal to creation. But, but when did this flesh come into existence? So in John 1.14 where it said that the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So 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 he yeah he is Jesus Christ. But but it's ident he's identified as God in John 1.1. 1, 1. I know your Bible says a God. Yes. But there's no reliable Bibles really say a God, you know. There are some that say it, but did you know that have you heard of a guy called he was a spiritualist called Johannes Grieber? And the, the Watch South Society quoted Johannes Grieber, who was the spiritualist, for um, agreement with their translation of John 1.1, 1, 1, A God. He, ch he channeled spirit messages and he wrote a book called Communication with the Spirit World of God. And in, all, in his book and in his Bible, it all agrees with, with, with Watchtower theology, the same beliefs that the Watchtower has. Well, you know? we, wouldn't, we wouldn't know anything about him but, because we don't delve into spiritualism. No, 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 like no, that. I appreciate you know that. But th did you know that the Watchtower quoted him as a reliable source for many years, even knowing that he was a spiritualist? You can look this up yourself. His name's Johannes Grieber. Look, look it up. But, but they quote him as a reliable source to back up John 1, what the New World Translation is John 1, 1. And, um, and and other beliefs that the, that the society has. I've never been a witness, by the way. No, you know, I I, I've, I've only been a Christian since I've been a Christian since 1989. But I'm interested in speaking to the Mormons, Muslims, you know, Jehovah's people of other because it's interesting to, to, to chat and to compare beliefs, isn't it? And, and I think if, if we all go away and look at, I mean, the things you said, I'll go away and look at. Good. And I hope you, you guys will be open enough to go away and look at the things I've mentioned. You know, like Stephen's prayer. Paul saying about the thorn in the flesh, praying to Jesus, having a relationship flesh. with Jesus. Which is probably his eyes. Jesus. Yeah, but, no, but the point Paul, is, he, it doesn't really it, tell it, you. It says he called on the Lord three times. He says, I called Jesus on the Lord. Jesus himself told us that we should pray to his Father. Yeah, yeah. He's, he didn't say to pray to him. He, he said, did. pray no, this he way. Didn't. Our he didn't. Father. He can, he's he the was, mediator. Yeah. Oh, no, but, we end our prayers with his name. But is he your mediator? Yes, he is the mediator of all mankind. Oh now, God. now, now! Look he into. The, look he into said this. he's the way to the Father. Look, yeah, I he agree. No, that, I, I'm Father. glad you say that. I mean, it, it says there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. That's right. But did you know that the Watchtower actually teach that for the great crowd, which the majority of Jehovah's Witnesses are in, he is not the mediator for the great crowd. Although the Bible says he's the mediator between the Watchtower God and man. said so. Yeah, look it up. Please look it up. It's well, wrong. I know. Please look it up. And do you know what? You know what else they even say? This sounds crazy. But if you've I not heard it, no, 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 I no, no. So. Look it up. I mean, I can look it up now for you if you want on my phone and show you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I don't. I, I... Uh, let's have a look. Oops. He is right. Yeah. The watch house as well. That uh, Jesus is mediator between himself, between Jehovah and the Almighty. That's it. And That's right. Yeah. To save looking yeah. it up. Yeah. I mean. It's true. Well, Gee, yeah. The, the Watchtower teaches that's not that. Not exactly what you said. No, no, no. It is. It is. is. No, no, no. He's not the mediator for the great crowd. He's, as this lady said he's here. He's mediator for, he, the, for the 144,000. Yeah, but the Bible says in one Timothy two five that there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. That's right. So he's he's the mediator for all of us. Yeah. Um, he, he, Can I just come in a bit? Yeah, yeah, sure. When it said that he was the mediator between God and man, yeah. the whole thing was about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So when the kingdom is established, obviously Christ in his kingly role with those who will rule with him yeah. will be ruling over all of mankind. Mm. And so in that way, he would become mediator for us as well. Mm. And like 
she quoted before where it says that uh, um what did you say john 14 6 you mm -hmm. quoted mm -hmm. you quoted just now jesus said i'm the way the, the truth and the, the life the the yeah. yeah without jesus we can't live mm -hmm. basically because he laid down his life for us so we can't live without that sacrifice so in that way he's mediator for mankind but in the real sense it's like moses said jesus used that term like moses was the mediator between god between him god and his people mm. the israelites and in the same way jesus is mediator between god and the anointed to form that government but, so we need that government but, but what, what the is, sacrifice that jesus made for us but, has to be carried forward we need that government because i mean that's it's interesting what he says because there are watched our publications that actually even go as far as to say that the anointed are not only is jesus not your mediator it says that in fact it, it actually says that jesus is not the mediator, not the at mediator all. For yeah me. but oh no yeah but but the thing is that but then it, the, 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 there are watchtower publications that say that the the, the hundred and forty four thousand actually become mediators for the great crowd which to me is a bit blasphemous, really, because I, I only see Jesus alone as being mediator. Because I don't think the watch towers have that. No, it does, it does. It does. Have. It does, it does. You know, I've spent all my life as a tower's mm -hmm. witness, and I've read every single watch It does say it, you know, it does say. It doesn't the, the, say that they, it, the, the anointed mm. who would join with Christ, they don't become mediator for it us. It does say that, you know. They become part of the kingdom. Will you look into it and at the least? The kingdom. We always look into our. Yeah, yeah. Our, um, look, look, There's a whole website. Yeah, yeah, the JW.org. Yes. But look, look it up and on JW.org about the mediatorship of the 144,000. I understand it very well because mm. I've done this as a personal study. But, so you can't really did, catch me on that. But that is you. But, but, so glad. But, 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 you, but, but you guys, that means you're not in a new covenants. You haven't got a relationship with Jesus because you don't pray I to Jesus. We, you're not we, in a new covenant. We don't pray to Jesus. Not. You're not in a new covenant. It's such a we shame. We pray to it? Jehovah. That's what Jesus We're not does. Because we pray it's to the Jehovah. 144,000. How can your sins be forgiven if you're not in a new covenant? And if you're not in mediatorship, direct mediatorship role with Christ? Because it says that he's our king. You've got to be connected to him, haven't you, really? You know, personally. You know, um, for a king, okay, for... Um, this new prime minister to come into power mm. he had to go through a process didn't he yeah before he can get into power and when he gets into power he has to form his parliament and everything mm. in in that process he's working for the people this is what that kingdom is going to do mm -hmm. when that kingdom is formed when it, every member of that kingdom be, is in heaven mm as let's say like a political party they're together all the decisions are made together mm. with christ as leader so they're not going to be like what happened with theresa may where you know her own parliament was disagreeing with her that's not going to happen mm. jesus will be the head but, of that kingdom but what about the situation and puts forward, everyone agrees and go with it it, and that kingdom is for the benefit mm. of all of us. But, but what about Hence the situation? Our, our yeah, yeah. All but, but what about the situation? I mean, I mean Colossians means that one. Colossians. That kingdom is going to end yeah, yeah. For yeah, no, I agree. And I'm looking forward to yeah. that. But, but Colossians 1.13 says that he's transferred, he now has transferred us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Because he's that's present tense that's now that's the that's kingdom right. is now he's so, given us the information yeah and the hope for the future because so, we had no hope before jesus christ but but can you see how different this message is from the bible in the first century you, you're not in a new covenant jesus is not your mediator 
Um, you don't pray to Jesus. You haven't got a relationship with Jesus. You don't know Jesus. You don't. Well, well you, you can't know someone you don't communicate with. If I didn't communicate with my wife, I'd be kicked out on the street probably. <laughs> maybe that's maybe she'd be relieved at that. Yeah. But, but but one last thing as well. But, but, but it's communication. He did, you know. He always says, use his name, talk to the do, Father, use his name. Because do, it's through that sacrifice do, do, that he made, we can approach well, God. Well, Stephen prayed to Jesus just before he died. He said, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Paul said, um, take this. He said three times, he said, remove this thorn of the flesh from me. He if said, he pleaded with the scripture. Lord. Next time you come around, just find a scripture where Jesus said, John 14, 14. John 14, 14. It, it, it does say it, you know, it does say. Anything you ask the Father. Yeah. No, 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 no. He doesn't say that. He doesn't say. He, he says, if you, if you ask me anything in the name of me, I will do it. Yeah, that you see. Uh, yeah, he says, if you ask me, if you ask me anything in the name of me, I will do it. In the name of me. Yeah, yeah. If you ask. It's different in the New World Translation. In my name. I will do Yeah, yeah. In now, his name. yeah, yeah. In his name. But That's the Father in his name. Has, has, has any of you if got... you love me, you will observe my commandments. Have you got a Greek and Sylvia? I will ask yeah, yeah. the Father, and he will give you another help. Yeah, yeah. To but, be with you forever. But if you read the Kingdom Greek in Selenia, it says they've taken they've actually taken the, one of the words out of it, which I'll is have me. A look when I get home. I've got an interview. Yeah, read it. The literal Greek for John 14, 14. Jesus is speaking of a time future as well, because he's speaking about when he goes to his father. And he's saying, in that day, if you ask me anything in the name of me. I will do it. That's what the Greek, literal Greek says. Yeah, because that's where the, the, he's going. Yeah, no, no, yeah, but he's saying... We go to the Father in Jesus' but, name. But he's saying, if you ask that's me anything in the name of me... So he's, ask, he's saying, if you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. And he's talking about a future time when he will go to the Father. He will, he will speak to his Father. So, 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 so he, he's condoning us speaking to him when he's glorified and after he's resurrected after his ascension when he's in in heaven to the place where he is now in fact so but also you guys are not born again john 3 3 says unless anyone is born again they cannot see the kingdom of god so whether you believe the kingdom is earthly or heavenly you can't see that kingdom unless you're born again it says unless anyone is born again they cannot see the kingdom of god associated kings with him but, who are born again but, because their hope is to live in heaven know, but it says unless but anyone hope is for the earth it says unless anyone is born again they cannot see the kingdom of god yeah <laughs> the spirits leaving us <laughs> it, 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 unless anyone in, are you anyone are you anyone are you anyone the, the three of you are anyone so according to john 3 3 unless anyone oh. is born again they cannot see the kingdom of god you will not see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. And if, if you're reading these magazines and they're saying it's only for the anointed, then you're not going to see the kingdom of God. You, you need you know, to believe what the Bible I'm says being, rather than the magazines. Oh. Like no, I read them. Well, that's. All right. Well, well listen. I'll, I'll, but, it, but go on JW.org. I've been on it. And you'll, you'll, you'll get all of these. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's not why we are taking it off. All you. right, but you will get it. Okay. Oh, that's there. a shame you're taking them off me like that. But, okay, can I have them now? <laughs> okay, I've got something. Well, at least you'll be able to read them. Yeah, well, listen. It's, I, nice, I, to, it's nice to have paper in your yeah, hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying these things to put you guys down. I, I'm a Christian, I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. I care for you guys. You know, I feel like you need a relationship with Christ. You need to be in covenant relationship with Him. But you, know you need what? to be born what again. I, um, you obviously know a lot about the scriptures. Mm. Yes, you do. So, why aren't you going from door to door like Jesus did and preach the What am I doing news? now? What am I doing right now? No, you're preaching to preachers. I'm preaching to people who need the gospel, I no. think. You need to be born again. You go from door to door, just like Jesus but, did with your group, but, and preach the gospel. That's what Jesus said to do. That's the but, but only thing he left for uh, his disciples. It was his last few words mm. to his disciples but, to go therefore and 
make these samples. He said, just as I did it, you do it. But in, in, in two, John, it so, says that they... So unfortunately, you're not doing what Jesus left. Does that mean the Mormons? Are, does that mean the Mormons have got truth because they go to do door to door? The Mormons, at they go, they go, they go door to door, don't they? At they least they go to trying. door to door. The but, only thing is, they're not carrying Jesus but, Christ. But, but how, how do you? Do you know? Do you know? Interestingly, they don't pray to Jesus either. The Mormons refuse to pray to Jesus. Yeah, but they don't really believe in Jesus. They, they don't believe. Oh no, they don't. They do. They do believe. They do no. believe in Jesus. No, it's only it's in the book of they but, but, but they don't believe in the Bible. But it's, it's another Jesus that they believe in. You see, it's another Jesus. Yeah. But I also believe that the Watchtower Society have another Jesus. It's the Archangel Michael, which is not the Jesus of the Bible. Because obviously, Michael is Michael, Jesus is Jesus. I think, you know, if the Watchtower changed their view tomorrow in a magazine, it said, uh, new Bible light has come to, has co has come to become revealed. It says that, that Jesus is no longer Michael. I think millions of Jehovah's Witnesses around the world would just change their view like that, you know. Because it's not based on the Bible, it's based on the Watchtower magazine. And that's the reason why this belief that Jesus well, is not your mediator is, is not based on the Bible. At, at Jesus least, needs to be your mediator, you need to be born again, you need a relationship with every, Jesus. Everything they say mm. is, has a scripture there to back it up. Oh yeah, I don't know. So, but lots of groups have that, don't they? Listen, I better go guys, I'm, he's put it with me for long enough. But <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, um, take, take care, thanks for, thanks for listening to me. Okay. And, it's been nice to chat with you. <laughs> Take care. It's a nice quiet spot. It was noisy before with all those yeah. kids.